So before we start this video, make sure that you watch this video in 4K. Even though if you are on a 1080p screen, watch this video in 4K to see all the details because YouTube increases the bitrate if you switch to 4K video. Hi there, welcome to a whole new video. Today we are going to be talking about the Topaz AI version 4.0.0. It just came out literally today and I'm so happy to check it out. And I'm going to be leaving you all the samples of before and after footages in description down below. So let's get started this one. As you can see in the beginning screen, it just looks like a normal version, but we are going to be seeing all the changes once we import a video. So let's browse. And to our good news, we are going to be using the trailer for the Ferrari. This came out literally a couple of hours ago. So I'm kind of hyped to check it out. So now first we are going to be through, going through all the things about the UI and what has changed in this version. So if we go to the right side, which is looks way different. So on the top we have presets, but now the presets are kind of changed. So instead of giving you directly your 4K or 8K or something like that, it is going to be giving you some different options like denoising the footage or deinterlacing the footage. So that's cool. And it is not something that pro users gonna use, but for normal people, I think it is a great addition to have like these kind of like simple HD, like upscale to HD, like when people are going to be using the old songs, like a 480p song, and they can like upscale to HD. That's really, really cool. So on the input, we can see what are our frame rates. So we are working with a 1920 by 1080 file. It is not 4K on YouTube. Uh, so we are going to be doing this thing and I'm going to be uploading this thing not just in 4k we are going to be doing 8k but for this one we are going to be using the sample in the 4k so the input we can see 1920 by 1080 at 24 fps and then we are going to be changing it up to the 4k and no we are going to be doing 4k uh, for the demo and then we are going to be doing the final version with the 8k and 60 fps so first let's see what we got so first 2x and 4x these are simple numbers 2x for 1080p is going to be 4k and for 4x it's going to be 8k and you can see all the other numbers down below so you got sd for both pal and ntsc then we got 720p 1080 4k and 8k and you can even do custom resolutions which are super cool that is not used to be a case before there and i think this is a, such a great addition same with the frame rates you can do it again there is one thing missing and that is a custom frame rate i would like to see some like 48 fps for like 24 frames footage that would be super cool but since it is not here we cannot complain uh, then we got easy and good looking so now good looking but what i mean is now we got some colorful icons and it used to be very very much different so we got stabilization motion debugger frame interpolation enhancement and gain so now stabilization is going to be like stabilizing your footage topaz has always been great when it's come to the footage and i think this one is going to be great Motion debugger is actually is going to be uh, putting out like putting out all the motion that is in the uh, frame, which is the motion blur. It's going to be removing all the motion blur. Frame interpolation it is for your slow motions and to increase the frame rate. So let's say if you have a 24 FPS footage and you want to change it to 60 FPS footage, uh, let's say to uh, match it with your gameplay, you can do it by just that enhancement. This is definitely my favorite one. It is just to uh, do the super scaling or you can increase the resolution from like a 1080p footage to 4k footage very easily and i'm going to be showing you all the best settings that you can do to get the best results and then the last we got green green uh if you like that old school look of the movies and you like the green this you can use uh with enhancement and it is going to be giving a movie like result so it is very simple you just need to put out the amount and the size uh, of the green that you want on the screen so for this one, first we are going to be doing very simple thing, uh, which is we are going to be doing the motion debler because the sole reason is because we can see a lot of motion blur here. So we can do that and we are going to be testing it out. And then I'm going to be showing you this super cool trick that I found out about this software. And I think this is the best thing that they have included in the version 4. Rather than just seeing its speed increase, this will increase the process dramatically. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's do this. So I'm recording. Uh, it at the same time, we are going to be doing the two seconds preview for this one. I'm not going to be changing the resolution. Let's see how fast it can do. The only thing is we got only single model for this one. And that's okay. We can even do frame interpolation. But not right now. We are going to be doing it 
after it so let's get started with the motion de blur now let's click on the preview the default is two seconds you could change it to even almost 30 seconds or in two hours you can literally render all the footage but we are just going to be doing two seconds which is great i don't go directly to the frames because frames are different with every single footage for me two seconds is a great great time so now as you can see the model has already been loaded and now we are going to be seeing that how much time is going to be taking uh one quick tip if you have never worked uh, with a software before like in this one it's going to be taking a little bit more time but once you have done it then it is going to be very easier for a model uh, to come because it's already loaded and usually it loads into your gpu so be sure that you have a great GPU. So now we can see the amount of motion blur that we have here. On the bushes, it is literally gone. Like it just looks crazy, crazy, crazy sharp. Of course, it is shot on a 24 FPS for day, so it's going to be looking a bit jaggy, but it looks crisp. And look at the cars, they look super, super crisp in this one. So we are going to be playing with the footage a little bit before exporting it. Huh? So look, okay. This is such a neat frame to check it out. Look, look, look at this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be scrolling and I'm going to be showing you. So look at the 33 on the car. It It's just absolutely crazy. The, it is looking so sharp without the motion blur. It is like literally awesome. But I think if they're going to be working with different models, especially Kaya, it will be like a game changing. So this is for this one. But now let's try frame interpolation. Why not? Let's make this footage slow motion. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using, uh, for me, Apollo Fast has been always such a good one. And we're going to be seeing what? Let's slow it down to like, let's say 4x. 4x seems super, super nice. So let's see how good they, they're going to be doing the slow motion. Let's find out where it is going like super fast. So slow motion would look super great. Yeah. This, this looks super awesome for slow motion. So now let's check it out, the slow motion. Okay, I think uh, it's going to be taking a little bit more time, but my download speeds are really good. Uh, 150 up and 150 down, so it should be super, super fast for it, this one. Usually the models are under one gig, so it just takes a couple of minutes to download. So yeah, it is, it's already been downloaded, as you can see. I'm not speeding up the footage, it is all real time. So the model has been loaded and let's see how fast it can process. Yeah, it is, it is pretty fast as you can see. Like 17 FPS, it is amazing for 1080p footage. And I don't think people are going to be using it for like more than 4x slow motion. Okay, now let's preview. Let's see what slow motion got us. Look at the smoothness. Of course, there are artifacts because we are going from like almost 24 FPS to literally 100 FPS, which is crazy. But it just just look look at this one. It's looking great. There are a little bit of motions, and I will say just play with uh, the different models because these models always go like uh, they work differently. And now let's talk about the coolest trick. Literally the coolest trick in this one, which I'm going to be showing you right now. As you can see, we we see a little bit of wobble here. But if we click to this window on the left side. We can see the original in the bottom and it says 4x slow motion. What we can do is we can actually change it. So if we see on the left side, there are no settings, but we can actually change the settings on the left side too. So we can compare two models side by side. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be going to the frame interpolation. We will choose down the 4x slow motion. And now this time we're going to do Kronos because why not? Apollos versus Kronos is my favorite thing to do here. So I'm going to be uh, seeing, like, if we can just preview this one. Yeah. So we're going to be doing, we are going to be shooting the preview right now. Let's check it out. So now, since this is a new model, it is going to be taking a little bit of time just to download a model and to load the model. But we are also going to be seeing how it works, if it works for the second time on the other file. So it's going to be super cool. Yeah, model. these are quick models. They are going to be downloaded. Uh, if you want to find out the models, it's located in the C program data under the top is AI files. So you can just go there and you can see. Before closing the video, the one thing that we are going to be checking it out is 
my favorite thing and which are the enhancements we are going to be doing a little bit of 4k refinement and see how sharp the footage is going to be looking so yeah let's see the result of these look at right now chronos is looking really good for a full model and not a fast one 7.5 fps is like pretty pretty fast so for me uh, one fps on the normal thing is pretty good now let's see what the chronos is going to be looking right now we ready okay look we have literally got rid of all the muddiness that it was there now no, there there are no juggles in the forex slow motion and it is looking pretty awesome so yeah and now look 18 fps we got the second time once we have already have done the model so now we went from like 17 to 18 which is pretty fast if you're going to be doing the big files okay now let's check out the both models side by side which is super awesome so yeah as you can see it's a processed on the both side so it is all been done both sides have been slowing down for two four extra motion and as we can see how both the footages are going to be looking for me chronos the big model is looking good so if you want quality give it a little bit of time i think chronos is a better model and even apollo is better model if you're just going with a bigger file so as you can see there are no jiggles here that used to be here so this is super cool now let's move down to finally my favorite part which are the enhancements and uh, there are a ton of models so i want you to play with every single one of them because not every model will work with every single model okay so video type first we have to choose progressive interlaced or interlaced progressive usually new footages are all progressive then ai model for me protheus has always been the best one not going to be lying other than that i love gaia gaia is phenomenal even though uh guy is going to be saying like asking you what kind of model that you're going to be using for me uh it is very simple gaia does the best thing when it comes to the details and the fidelity and if it's a cgi thing without a doubt gaia is the best one so we are going to be checking from this this title uh and then we are going to be going um to a little bit of footage so like two seconds is going to be like fantastic so we are just going to be going down to like 4x which is going to be 8k and just we are going to be changing uh checking with the protheus okay so let's get started let's see the preview as we can see it has processed it took around three minutes and 18 seconds on the regular frame rate and on proteus model which is one of my favorite models you can see the details in the text is absolutely freaking phenomenal look at that look at the and and look at the letters here we are doing a 474 percent almost a 500 percent zooming and it is absolutely crazy good this thing can do like phenomenal things so now this is for this frame let's move uh, to a different frame where we can see the movie and you can see the details so okay so we see the car details here with the flaring flaring is good you cannot look at the artifacts the all the artifacts here are removed and it's looking super smooth and sharp at the same time we can see the ferrari logo here and it is also looking good the three is looking crisp the numbers are looking amazing and the details are fantastic here overall i really really like it and i think if you just going down to like a 4x it's just phenomenal if you are on a monitor which supports hd please watch this on hd because i'm doing this video in hd look at the color rendition here it is phenomenal and you can see so much artifacts in this place and on the right side where this thing is processed it is looking super super great so i'm going to just going to be changing it up to the original and yeah you can see every single thing here the detail is fantastic in the grills it is looking awesome the best thing is that light is not killing the darker parts which is awesome and look at the face so they have introduced a new face model which is not going to be ruining any faces in the in the movie so which is absolutely freaking phenomenal look at the road the road is looking so sharp and detailed it is just just freaking great i think this new model this version 4.0 is absolutely amazing as you can see this still frame there's a little bit of motion blur which is awesome it will be super cinematic but it is super sharp 
like if you would be giving me this as a 4k version of the movie i can literally watch it so i think it this tool is going to be great if you want to upscale your old footages and even some movies or videos that you have left with you this is going to be awesome so be sure to check out the full 8k 60 fps trailer that i'm going to be dropping after i drop this video so if it is not there it's going to be taking me a couple of days to complete this one but this video is going to be dropping a few days before it so keep the eye on the description and on the first pin comment down below you're going to be seeing the 8k trailer of the ferrari movie and you can see all the details in the glory and so this is for right now see you amazing people next time let me know what you want to see next and i'm going to be making a video on that one